Hello everyone, welcome back to the last session of this uh, seventh chapter that is wireless communication. In the last two sessions, we discussed about what is the meaning of communication and the block diagram of a simple electronic communication system and what is called as the radio wave or the electromagnetic wave and the different bands of frequencies with their applications. Apart from that, we also learned what is called as the propagation the forward travel of a radio wave itself is called as a propagation and there are three different types of propagating the signal that is the ground waves space waves and the sky waves and we also learned uh, what is an ionosphere and the different layers of ionosphere in which we learned the altitude of that uh, different layers that is d e and f and uh, the thickness of those layers and at which altitude from the surface of the earth these layers are present another nanometer. In today's session, we will be studying what is called as the sky wave propagation. So, in the exam, explain neatly the sky wave propagation or the ionospheric propagation. Both are same. The sky wave propagation and the ionospheric propagation is one and the same. So, the simple diagram which explains the sky wave propagation or the ionospheric propagation is this is considered as the surface of the earth and the Hedaga. If I am having a transmitting antenna over here and above the surface of the earth we are having a layer what is called as the ionosphere. This is an ionosphere which contains the charged particles. When I want to transmit the signals from the transmitting antenna, that uh, signal has to be pro propagated onto the surface of the ionosphere from which depending upon uh, some of the terms like density of the charged particles, critical angle, critical frequency, that signal will be reflected back to the earth. But in some cases, those signals will not be reflected back to the earth but it will be refracted from the ionosphere that is it will be escaped into the surface uh, into the space and the hair bone. So, only a few waves will be reflected back to the earth. If I am going to consider this as a satellite even then the signals will be reflected back to the earth. So, there are some of the terms and the hair The very first term is the critical critical frequency which will be denoted by fc so critical frequency and theldaga it is the maximum frequency of a beamed radio wave that will be reflected back to the earth we know that uh, we are having a different bands of frequencies and for the different bands of frequencies the applications will be different walkie talkie ke bere frequency rate, I mean the signal frequency is different and radar ke frequency is different TV signals ke FM signals ke so the uh, frequency of the signals will be different for different applications at the node way. So, critical frequency is nothing but the highest frequency or the maximum frequency of a given layer in which the beamed radio wave, the beamed radio wave and the transmitting antenna in the now in propagate model theory, that signal will be reflected back to the earth. If I am going to consider an example of a F2 layer uh, of an ionosphere, the maximum frequency which uh, this F2 layer will reflect the signals back to the earth and the daga. It will lie within the range of 5 megahertz to 12 megahertz. So, if the frequency range is between 5 megahertz and 12 megahertz, then this F2 layer will efficiently reflect back the signals which is beamed or which is propagated from a transmitting antenna. So, this F critical frequency or FC is very very important while transmitting the signal from one place to another place. The second important term what we have to consider is the critical angle. So, critical angle denoted by theta c. So, what is this critical angle and the held aga? It is the highest angle. It is the highest angle of incidence. Highest angle of incidence is an anarthamat If I am going to consider this as the uh, beamed radio wave, 
that will be reflected back to the earth and held on the this line will create an angle over here and that angle itself is called as the angle of incidence or the critical angle there is a fixed critical angle if the critical angle or if this angle of incidence is more than the critical angle then the signal will not be reflected back to the earth it will be refracted or that signal will escape into the space so critical angle is nothing but the highest angle of incidence of a beamed radio wave that will be reflected back to the earth clear now we'll see the next term what is called as the skip distance this skip distance denoted by delta is nothing but the shortest distance the shortest distance between the transmitting antenna and the first receiving station along the surface of the earth after ionospheric propagation after ionospheric propagation anta heldaga i have to propagate the signal from the transmitting antenna to the ionosphere from there uh, the signal will be reflected back to the earth but this skip distance is nothing but the shortest distance between the transmitting antenna this can be considered as a transmitting antenna and i'll be having a number of receiving antennas on the surface of the earth let me consider this as r1 r2 r3 that is the receiving antennas so what is the skip distance and helidre the shortest distance between the transmitting antenna and the first receiving antenna along the surface of the earth after ionospheric propagation is called as the skip distance that will be denoted by delta so this distance itself is called as the skip distance so if i am going to consider this as the first uh, receiving antenna then this distance along the surface of the earth itself is called as the skip distance which will be denoted by the delta the next term what is called as the skip zone skip zone which is also called as the silent zone what is this skip zone or the silent zone anta helidre it is the region around the receiving antenna within the skip distance where neither the ground waves is present nor the sky waves is present so both are absent in the last session itself we saw what is a ground wave ground wave anta helidre it is nothing but the transmitting the signal directly or the ground reflected wave and ground waves use maadkondo nanu signal na transmit maadbeku anta helidre the range or the distance between the transmitting antenna and the receiving antenna must be very very small only then i can uh, transmit the signal that is optical or horizontal idre matra nanu ee ground wave signals na transmit maadbodu but this skip zone or the silent zone is nothing but the region around the receiving antenna within the skip distance where neither the ground waves is present nor the sky wave is present so ground wave anta helidaga if i am going to consider this as the distance in which the ground waves will be propagated so this is the region in which the ground waves is propagated and ionospheric propagation anta helidaga nange sky waves ee tara bartarte but here nange ili propagate agiruvanta signal athava reflect agiruvanta signal illi tanka bartane but this space does not contain any kind of waves this region contains the ground waves whereas the region after this antenna contains the sky waves but this region does not contain any kind of waves that is neither the ground waves is present nor the sky waves is present and that distance along the surface of the earth is called as the silent zone or the skip zone clear so what is this uh, skip zone or the silent zone and helidre it is the region around the receiving antenna where neither the ground waves nor the sky waves are present itself is called as the silent zone or the skip zone clear the next term what we are going to see is the single hop distance 
ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬಂದಾಗ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಪಾತ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಬಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕರ್ವೇಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ವಿ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಟು ದ ಅದರ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಯಾಕೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಫ್ ಟು ಲೇಯರ್ ಎಫ್ ಟು ಲೇಯರ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾನು ರೇಡಿಯೋ ವೇವ್ಸನ್ನ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕವರ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ತನಕ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾನು ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ದ ರೇಡಿಯೋ ವೇವ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಆಂಟೆನಾ ದಿಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಲೇಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಈ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಪ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ದಿಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟ್ ದ ಸಿಗ್ನಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಐ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ದ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಹಾಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಹಾಪ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ on an average the semi circumference of the earth is about 20000 km but this is the maximum extent or this is the maximum distance what i can uh, use to propagate the signals using f2 layer but after the average uh, circumference thagondaga it is 20000 so hagagi now single hop ik hogakagala in that case i have to go for what is called as multiple hops multiple hop distance so what is this multiple hop distance we know that the uh, earth curvature tumane doddagide so if i am going to consider this as the transmitting antenna and here i want to send the signal anta endaga i cannot uh, use what is called as i cannot transmit the signals all at once like this ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ನಾನು ಕಳ್ಸೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಗಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಟಿಕಲ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸಿ ಅದೆಲ್ಲನೂ ನಾನು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಹಾಪ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಟರ್ಮೀಡಿಯೇಟ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಚ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ಡೆಸ್ಟಿನೇಷನ್ ರಿಸೀವರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲ್ ರಿಸೀವಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ to which i have to transmit the signal but here this i am going to consider as an intermediate receiving station with the help of which i'll be able to transmit the signal from one place to another place that is uh, transmit the signal to a longer distance so this is very much essential in the global communication so this is all about the different terms what is uh, required in order to tra- transmit the signals from one place to another place we are having the last term what is called as the fading it refers to the fluctuations fading it refers to the fluctuations in the strength of the signal fluctuations in the strength of the signal and the hedaga there the fluctuations can be created because of many reasons that is the even the atmosphere can absorb some of the energy of the signals so havaga nange fluctuations create agutte and uh, there might be some of the loss uh, during reflection or uh, the signals might get scattered so there are many of the reasons which brings fluctuations in the strength of the signal so fading is
signal the strength and amate boost of mani again it will be transmitted to the next receiving station so this is all about the fading with this the seventh chapter that is the wireless communication is completed but let me uh, tell you what kind of questions will be arising uh, from this chapter so simple questions anta bandaga with appropriate diagram explain sky wave propagation ivagashte no sky wave anna bardu torusundala sky waves anta naru kelbodu athwa ionospheric propagation aadu anta naru kelbodu so the answer will be the same define critical frequency critical angle skip distance skip zone so yen terms anna now last leavethin session alli nodidvi all those terms can be asked separately so each definition will be carrying one marks adhe sky wave propagation you have to write the diagram diagram anta kelidru sari kelde idru sari you have to explain that sky wave propagation or the ionospheric propagation with the help of a diagram and uh, explain uh, the basic electronic communication system adhe uh, first session alli na madidnala the source transmitter channel Uh, receiver destination channel alli namge noise barutte you have to write that particular block diagram and explain or at least write one to two lines uh, with respect to each blocks of that block diagram separately even that will be asked for three marks mention uh, different layers of ionosphere different layers of ionosphere anta andaga d e and f illi bari mention anta kelidare sometimes explain the different layers of ionosphere this is the most frequently asked question so different layers of ionosphere na explain maadi anta helidare d e f so d the thickness you know it is present only during the night uh, sorry only during the day time and adu yav thara waves na adu reflect maadutte idellanu neevu separate aagi point wise baradre saaku it is present at, at at an altitude of this much and its thickness is this much and then you explain maadi bari bekagutade explain the modes of radio wave propagation explain the three modes of radio wave propagation anta andaga it is the ground waves space waves and the sky waves separate agi modes of propagation no kelbodu like explain the ground wave propagation explain the space wave propagation athwa explain the sky wave propagation anta so avaga you have to uh, explain it correctly with a clean diagram define noise in a radio communication it is an unwanted electrical signal which will interfere the easy reception and transmission of the signal or reproduction of the signal and the very well so these are some of the definitions or these are some of the questions which is most frequently asked from this particular chapter the total weightage of this particular chapter is four marks four marks and there are one one mark question in the in on the three marks you are both athwa yellow uh, one mark question could put in a one the two marks questions could both so author it depends so let me conclude this session at this point and hope you are very much clear with this particular chapter so ee chapter correct aga artha agidre next chapter that is the modulation and demodulation it will become very much easier for you so i'll be coming soon with the next uh, session that is uh, from the modulation and demodulation until then take care bye bye